This quick tutorial is about installing and running XP-Pen G640S on a MacBook. In other words, this video is created to get your XP-Pen drawing tablet up and running. The graphic drawing tablet is connected to the MacBook via USB cable. Users are able to draw on the tablet using a stylus or pen. The tablet has 6 customizable shortcut keys for whatever purpose you like and I'll show you how to set these buttons later. Also, the pen has two customizable buttons near its tip. Let's discuss the various Z positions of the pen. When the pen touches the tablet, you are able to draw on the smartphone screen or computer screen. Let's call this the touch mode. When the pen is lifted a little higher, the tablet can still detect the tip of the pen and shows this as a cursor on the screen. Let's call this the hover mode. Finally, when the pen is lifted high enough to the point that you cannot see the cursor on the screen, that means the functionalities of the gadget returns to normal. Let's call this gadget mode. Once the drawing tablet is connected, we now install the driver downloaded from the XP-Pen website. Let me close the website and focus on installing the driver. I'll put the installer on the desktop and run the installer. Just like most .dmg files, it is installed by transferring a package into the applications folder. Let's try to run the application that allows us to change the settings of the XP-Pen. I close it for a while and open an application like Adobe Illustrator to test the XP-Pen. But before you test it, go to System Preferences, Security and Privacy, unlock it, and allow all XP-Pen related apps to run on your system. If such apps are not visible, try to perform touch mode on XP-Pen and macOS will prompt you to allow such apps. Next, let's try to set up the screen area. This is a mapping of the XY coordinates from the tablet towards the gadget screen or computer screen. You can select full screen. But just to demonstrate, you can choose a small region in the computer screen so that it would be easier to navigate. Here, I intentionally choose the canvas of the illustrator so that I can just scroll up and down along this region. Next, I'll customize the buttons of the pen. First, I'll set up the button nearest to the tip as the eraser button and the other button as the right click. But if you are comfortable with the default settings, then there's no need to do this. Next, I just want to change the first shortcut key button of the drawing tablet so that it becomes an undo button. It's supposed to be command Z, but I use control Z to demonstrate later that you can change the settings in the middle of the XP-Pen operation. During touch mode, the user is able to draw or write on the screen. During the hover mode, you can click the pen button to enable erase button and begin erasing. To return to writing or drawing, go to hover mode and toggle the erase button. 
To change other Illustrator features, go to Gadget Mode. To write again, simply go to Touch Mode. Here, I want to undo something but my first shortcut key isn't working. This is because I used Ctrl Z earlier instead of Command Z. Now I demonstrate that you can update the settings while the XP Dash Pen is running. Recall that XP Dash Pen has 6 shortcut keys buttons. The uppermost button is key 1 or K1. The second button is K2 and so on. Let's update K1 with Command Z so I can just hit K1 button every time I want to undo something. If I press K1 on the drawing tablet, Command Z takes effect and I can resume drawing or writing again. In this example, the work or energy we derive is the energy associated with the motion of a particle. Hence, we can denote it with K or kinetic energy. If total energy E is equal to kinetic energy K plus energy of the object in rest E sub 0, then K equals E minus E sub 0. Based on the equation above, the first term is the total energy and the second term is the rest mass energy. Therefore, when an object is at rest, its energy is E equals mc squared. Do you find some of the things here helpful? Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel.